On the edge of the Arctic Circle, Iceland has one of the world's most unpredictable climates and unforgiving landscapes. Lying across two tectonic plates, the land of fire and ice is a hotspot of volcanic activity. In the 18th century, one-fifth of Iceland's population was wiped out following a single eruption. Today, the majority of land here is uninhabitable. One-third is desert, and 10% is covered by glaciers. If ever a nation could make a case for survival of the fittest, then this is it. It's little surprise then that the country is the birthplace of the two most successful strongmen of all time. One of the reasons why Iceland has produced so many strongmen is that we've always had heroes. We've always needed heroes. There were heroes in the Icelandic sagas, and there were heroes in everyday life, because you had to be strong and work hard to survive. Transworld Sport travelled to Iceland to meet a legend of the strongman world as he returned to his hometown of Seyðisfjörður in Iceland's East Fjords. I remember one day a group of us were sitting in the community centre watching weightlifting on TV and Jón Paul Sigmarsson was competing. He just set a European record in the deadlift and yelled, no problem for Jan Paul. I told everyone there that one day I'd be standing in his shoes and doing what he does, and preferably more. People thought that was quite funny, but years later, they saw it was no joke. At 18, Magnus Fer Magnusson started lifting weights. Ten years later, in 1991, he won his first World's Strongest Man title. He would go on to dominate the event throughout the 90s. His four victories in the competition equaled the record set by compatriot Jan Paul Sigmarsson. Magnussen's victory over Austria's Manfred Herbel in the 1994 Sun City final remains one of the most iconic moments in strongman history. One of the things which helped shape me was work. I grew up partly on a farm doing farm work as a boy, and I also worked in the fishing industry here in Seydesfjörde. Sometimes we would see icebergs drift in from the sea, and we'd go iceberg running against our parents' will. That was always fun, until you'd fall off the iceberg and into the water. Then the fun was spoiled a bit. You might say that I was a bit of a wild one in my youth, but who wasn't? Each year, Magnus Fair, who's now retired from competition, helps to put on Iceland's two coastal strongman competitions, the West Fjords Viking and the East Fjords Giant. Recently, one giant has toppled all before him at these events. To the locals, he's known simply as Thor. The latest strongman of the Icelandic production line is Hafthor Julius Björnsson. And for local TV host Samuel Örn Ellingsson, the six foot nine inch Viking carries the expectations of a nation. I'll never forget, it was at the Westfjords Viking tournament four years ago. This boy turns up and one couldn't help but stare. He had hair down to here, just turned 20, a tall and slim basketball player. He looked like a character from Avatar, but he still weighed 144 kilograms. Now he weighs almost 190 kilos and he's become one of the world's strongest men. I think he'll become the strongest. Now 23, Thor is a three-time winner of Iceland's Strongest Man and Strongest Viking competitions. 
It's gone really well today, and I'm pleased to have won the title again. It was all down to the atmosphere and the support of the crowd. At the end, I gave one extra lift for them. Of course, I'm proud to be an Icelander, and especially proud of the fact that we've won the title of World's Strongest Man on eight occasions. Thor's mentor is Magnus Ver Magnusson. He trains at Magnus Ver's gym, which is situated 700 kilometers southwest of the East Fjords in the capital, Reykjavik. Magnusson relishes the opportunity to pass on his wealth of experience to the next generation of Icelandic strongmen. To become a good strongman, you have to combine a couple of sports. You need to be a weightlifter, you need to be an Olympic weightlifter, and you need to be a track and field athlete. You need a mix of those elements to be a successful strongman. Magnus Ver's gym, Jakobol, or Giant's Nest, takes its name from the old gym where he first trained with Jón Paul Sigmarsson, the godfather of Icelandic strongmen. Jón Paul Sigmarsson was one of my heroes when I was starting out. He was very helpful and taught me a lot. We actually toured together later. We went to Scotland and competed and performed there. There was never a dull moment with Jon around. Jon Paul is remembered as one of the most charismatic and gifted strongmen of all time. Tragically, in 1993, he died following a heart attack at his gym, aged just 32. The only man to have equaled Jon Paul's record of four world's strongest man titles is Magnus Fair, and he believes that his young protege Thor can make a similar impact on the sport. Hafthor is a guy I bumped into at a gym here in town. I asked him if he wanted to try his hand at strongman sports. He got started, and from there, the only way was up. And his ascent has been quite fast. He's one of those guys you can absolutely destroy in the gym one night. And he'll come back the next day and be ready for more. He's a good coach, and he gives me really good advice. It's great having somebody of his experience around in the gym. He's someone who is ready and willing to help me in whatever I'm doing. My plan with Hafthor is working. I actually didn't think he was ready to compete in the World's Strongest Man last year, but he went anyway. My plan was to enter him this year, but that's okay. He was a year ahead of me, and my plan is that he'll win it next year. Sixteen years have passed since Magnus Ver claimed Iceland's eighth and last world's strongest man crown. The country may not have to wait too long for its next title. <laughs>